My name is Erlene Maloney Walker, and I'm a longtime resident of Fremont, the Irvington District. When I was five, uh, we moved to San Mateo, uh, where I lived uh, for 26 years. I uh, went all through school and was married and had my children and uh, didn't move here until 1949. My husband was drafted uh, when I was pregnant with our daughter in 1943, February of 43, and he was sent to Texas. And uh, I did move back home with my mother and father until my daughter was about nine months old. And then I, the two of us went to Texas and joined him and uh, returned to San Mateo after, he, after the war was over. And um, we did we did buy a, a house in Belmont, but I was not happy there, and suggested that we rent the Copeland Ranch, which was in Irvington. My grandmother was May Copeland, and her brother was Frank Copeland, and and the Copelands grew up in Livermore. He moved to the uh, Lion property which is now referred to as the Copeland property. Where, where is that exactly? That's on uh, right off of what is now Fremont Boulevard between Mission View Drive and Eugene. Uh, it's now the location of the uh, St. Leonard's Catholic Church, which now goes by Our Lady of Guadalupe. Um, uh, the little Copeland ranch house was a very fun place for us to live for three years coming from San Mateo. My children just loved it. My daughter was starting first grade, and my son was three and a half when we moved to Irvington. And there were no subdivisions in that area, and my children and the neighbor, neighboring children would run through the fields, even down to what is now Lake Elizabeth. That was just fields, no roads, no houses. It was really a good country living. But moving from San Mateo, when we did in 49, Gus Robertson was the principal. And the area was so small, I don't think there were more than 800 or 1,000 people in Irvington at that time. And Gus knew not only all the students in Irvington Grammar School, he knew their parents and the, the other siblings of his students, uh, and he knew them by name. I know. One day I was walking with my son Dennis, he was preschool. We were walking to town to get his hair cut. And Gus happened to be out on the sidewalk and he said, Erlene, he said, uh, we're taking school pictures today. Why don't you bring Dennis in and we'll take his picture? So I did, it was one of my favorite pictures. We had decided we liked the area and wanted to live here. My husband was an electrician. They were just starting the Glenmore Homes and uh, Builders Electric from Hayward, uh, were, they started the wiring, so he was working there. And I thought, well, I think I, I better get a job too. This was 52. Carl Christensen, who was a manager of Central Bank, called me and said he was looking for a new employee. Would I please come in and talk with him? So that very day I did and was hired and worked the next five years at the then Central Bank, which was right on the corner of what is now Fremont Boulevard and Union Street. So then we we left the rent, like I said, looked at a house up here and rented two doors up, and I could just walk to the bank, and it was very, very convenient. I guess the worst of times was my husband's auto accident in 1953 on what is now Mission Boulevard. And he was in a coma for six months before he died. And I, that was pretty rough. That was a hard time with two little kids. In 54, he died. And uh, uh, I had my job at the bank. And uh, the community really rallied around. They had a big benefit dance over at uh, Newark Pavilion and raised $1,000 for me. Now, that doesn't sound like much now, but in 1954, $1,000 was a lot of money. When the city incorporated, Wally tried to encourage me to apply for a position with the city, but I was pretty secure in my, my job at the bank. I liked my fellow employees, and it was close to home. I could just walk. 
A few months later, I did apply for the job of uh, secretary to the city manager. Um, he did not hire me. I started at the end of October of 57 in the public works department. And three months later, the then first city manager, Bob Coop, came downstairs and said, Erlene, do you still want to be my secretary? And I said, you betcha. So I uh, went upstairs and uh, from, from then, um, uh, that was in March of 58. Uh, then I, that was my position until I retired in November of 77. So I worked 20 years for the city. Well, of course, I worked for the first three city managers. Bob Coop was the first city manager. Um, then Howard Reese was the second, and Don Driggs was the third, and he was still manager when I retired in 77. Um, the old Mission San Jose School on Mission Boulevard was our first city hall. And it was a very happy place. I, uh, I think some of the happiest times were there because we were all together and we were, we were all um, uh, so closely uh, situated so it made for a more friendly atmosphere. And from that building you moved uh, to the city government building that is now no longer there. Mm -hmm. the we were isolated part. there because it was so uh, much larger and you had to go out in those cold corridors to go from office to office, some offices. We'd have to put coats and scarves on to uh, to go from office to office. Um, and the fact that we were separated, then you, you didn't have the friendly atmosphere that we did when we were all in the old school. And thank you uh, so much for taking the time to talk with me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.